Chris Voss gave me a huge one year's worth of subscriptions on Patreon, and I'm grateful to him for bringing you today's video. Vosier, Jaws of the Conclave, versus Maelstrom Wanderer, Elevir, and Clavileno. I've got a Dork and all of our colours. A little bit risky, always is with Dorks, but we'll try it. Okay, one player scooped already, so where are we? Another one on the ban list. Every time I sit down to record, I'm drawn into the Great Henge, so hopefully be able to get that down, start cantripping. We'll have to go for an untapped land here, so yeah, make that green and white into the Finhorn Elves so that we can tap that down for green mana next turn. Alright, a turn one Sol Ring from our opponent. This is Terax, by the way, patron of the channel. Utopia Sprawl on there and into a cantrip, Idol on a Blossom, so couldn't ask for a much better start than that, really. We draw into our first piece of red mana. We need to get down the Reflecting Pool first, so that can take us into the Elvish Archdruid. Blood Artist for what we assume is a Vampire player. And Elevir down on turn two. Puts a Virtuous Token onto the Eidolon, which can trips it. This is plus one, plus one for each enchantment you control. And there's another Enchantress in Sithis, which buffs this up to a 6-6 six, six on turn three. I might have said turn two previously, it's turn three. So that deals damage to us, and Elevir will draw a card. All right, a Wooded Foothills is more red mana. So we'll get down the Rockfall Vale, try and get down the Tricycle Land with the Wooded Foothills if we can. Not the end of the world if we have to cycle it though. And Voja has to attack in order to trigger, so we will leave it there and hope that we have our board intact by the end of next turn. Or by the beginning of next turn, I should say. All the commanders in play now with Clavileno. 6-6 six, six in at us again. The commander into the left, and the Sithis goes in at the left as well. So going to buff up the Sithis, I would imagine. And yep, yeah, that jumps up to a 6-7 with a Virtuous Token. So are we to assume as well that there's going to be a Pillow Fort card coming down here? Uh, each of us get hit, triggers the Elevir for card draw. And Lignify going on to our commander, our opponent can pay the tax on that, the ward tax. So draws a card and gets rid of our commander. So I was hoping to get down the Great Henge. But it'll have to be Beast Within and attack him with Volger, I think. Keen Sense is going to have this thing cantrip even more when it attacks. Has to land damage in order to draw off the Keen Sense. 12 cards in hand over there. So discarding a bunch of lands to hand size. Alright, draws us into a land, so let's go for the Beast Within onto the Lignify. Have to do that before combat because obviously we want to trigger the Voja. And then we'll go through to attacks. Volja can go in at Terax for obvious reasons. So plus one, plus one counters on there. That is now a 7-7. Seven, seven. And there's a Gaia Sage that will benefit from plus counters. So now that means we can get down Marsh Flats. And then it can be the Great Henge for just two mana. So that's effectively free. Gaia Sage after that. And that comes in with a plus counter and draws us a card ready for more plus counters next turn. A Wheel of Fortune, whilst our opponent's hands are full, is fine. And we are successfully holding up the Clever Concealment here, so just have to watch out for Trample. But we can block and then phase out and aim for the wheel next turn if we want to. And if we don't need to crack the Marsh Flats, we can go for a Tap Land, so pass at that. Another Aristocrat effect with Vran. That only triggers once a turn, though, but drains for two. And the Clavileno swings in towards... The 3-3 three, three Beast, so triggering the Clavileno and targeting itself, so when this dies, draw a card and make a Demon. Maybe setting up a board white with that. And the Celestia player decided to take the damage. Alright, so in a weird way, kind of hoping that the Enchantress player taps out here and doesn't run any more interference. Because um, we could go for an extra combat phase next turn, and that could mount up enough to actually... Threaten getting rid of this player. Giant Inheritance is plus five, plus five. When it attacks, create a monster roll token. That is the trample that we were dreading. So that now a 14-14. And drawn two cards off it so far. Tapped down a lot of mana though. And then a Griffin Guide as well. So flying, I mean, we weren't going to block this thing anyway if it has trample. But yeah, that Lignify forcing us to use the Beast Within means that 
this thing got to stay in play unfortunately and it's now a 1717 flyer and it turns in towards us again attacking him with the Sithis would be good as well but deciding to hold back all right so can't block because we don't have any reachers or flyers go down to 11 our opponent draws with Elevere again and we didn't need to use the clever concealment after all so trade that out for the tricycle land and 10 cards in this player's hand so discarding down to hand size again so discarding a boar umbra a land and satyr enchanter that is an all will be one which i don't think we can do enough with unfortunately play a land for the turn We'll get three plus counters on each creature we control. So that'd be three, six, nine, and 12. 12 twice is 24. So do we have 10 mana? Yeah, we've got 10 mana. So we could go for the extra combat. All right, so let's go for all will be one, first of all. Got enough red mana? Yes, just about have enough red mana. So let's crack this for some red. Cast the all will be one. Then we'll go for the Resurgence now, so that everything gains Vigilance first, although does it matter? Because we'll encourage this player to block us. Okay, now we've got First Strike and Trample on Voja, so if we put Damage Markers on the creatures with All Will Be One, it means that we can have Voja survive and push more Commander Damage through, because we'll only have to deal one damage to Sithis and then push the rest through as Commander Damage, I think that works. Not an interaction that usually comes up first strike and trample and then damage markers already being on the creatures. It's an unusual one, but pretty sure that's how it should work. All right, so we'll put Sithis in front with its nine damage markers. So it's just one damage from Voja onto that, the rest onto the commander, and then the rest of that straight through to our opponent's face. Only need to put one damage onto Sithis there thanks to the... Uh, Lethal damage only being one thanks to the other damage markers that were on there, meaning we can trample more commander damage through. And Blood Artist continuing to point at us, which is an issue, but I'd be really happy if we managed to take down the Enchantress player here after that start. Can't hold up the Clever Concealment now, unfortunately. So after this main phase, there should be an additional combat phase. And there it is. Always grateful to have Magic Online actually work. So it's Voja in at the right, and this is definitely, yeah, 12 points of commander damage, so we'll have him on 22, which means these other two creatures can go in at the left, and we'll get rid of these, um, these aristocrat effects before they do too much to us. That obviously means they can't block either, so that is three counters again, three damage there, three damage there, and then three up top twice. So, uh, yeah, going after the Blood Artist first, I might have... Oh, actually, Vran only... Does it trigger on itself? I should have looked at these. Yeah, it's Other Creature, so I should have had it so that Vran dies first. But, yeah, I don't think it's going to matter here. Hopefully not. Our opponent's obviously playing some fair magic over here. So we go down to six, and hopefully there'll be some massive damage dealt here. We get Terax on Commander Damage and knock him down to one. Yeah, so there we go, 25 points of commander damage and one life left. Obviously we could have pointed all will be one there if we'd needed to. And we drew into Anara, Wolvid Familiar, which I suppose we might as well get down here. Means that we draw more cards next turn and don't think we're going to need any more blockers anyway. If our opponent can get out from underneath this, then it would be funny anyway. A plus counter and a card draw from the Great Henge. Alright, and we've got three green floating, and that is a Cemetery Prowler. All will be one sees the plus counter, so we can just point that up top. I don't want to see a flying demon coming in towards us, so we won't get rid of the commander. But yeah, Cemetery Prowler, the good luck continues on the draws, so get that in. That will cantrip us, and we'll exile the uh, Blood Artist with that, making our creatures cost one less. Draw into Rhythm of the Wild, and all will be one is another ping on our opponent. Exile Blood Artist underneath the wolf and pass the turn. See if our opponent can do anything here. May well have a board wipe in hand. And we don't have access to the white mana that we need, unfortunately, in order to go for the clever concealment. Okay, Bartolome is a sack outlet and we've got rid of the aristocrat effects, thankfully. So he almost had what he needed. I'm not sure if he would have been able to do it regardless. But he will make a token here. Plus counter on there gets a tapped demon into play, so I won't even be able to block with it. 
and a Markov Purifier at the beginning of your end step. If you gain life, you can pay mana to draw a card. Unfortunately, not going to do it. So, uh, really, all we do next turn is swing in, and all will be one is going to deal the damage to our opponent. All right, draw into a Stomping Ground. Let's just go through to combat here, not going to waste any more of my opponent's time. I appreciate him playing it out. Attack him with all the wolves. Triggers the Voger. And the Cemetery Prowler will be able to exile something else. And it's still three plus counters going on everything thanks to the three elves. So that is three times six is 18. So just point all of the all will be one triggers at my opponent. That was a hell of a draw and it has managed to have us win the game thankfully. Although the Great Henge had no small part to play. Even managed to draw into the Inspiring Call in the end in order to protect our board. So yeah, along with Clever Concealment, that was plenty of card draw, plenty of protection. And all will be won, along with Volger doing it again. Apparently, this is a pretty good commander. Big thank you to my two opponents for playing it out and managing to show the power of this commander off again. If you want to see more from it, then let me know in the comments section. And don't forget to support on Patreon if you do appreciate the videos. I'm Travel Kai. Thank you for watching.